When the Christians say that Islam is a, is a religion that oppresses people, and even the Jews who say this, take this book of Numbers, chapter 31, and this is from the Old Testament. This is about Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. Why am I giving this example? I'm only giving this example for you to understand that everything can be misconstrued. I'm not saying that this is the tradition of Judaism. I'm not claiming that. I'm just giving you one verse of the Old Testament for you to listen to this verse and think if a common reader who is not a scholar, what would he take from this? I'm not saying that Jews are terrorists. I'm not saying the Christians are terrorists. I'm saying if they can have, if they can pick verses of the Quran and explain them in their own way without coming to us and asking us for the context of the verses of the Quran, then they should look at the mirror themselves. What does the Old Testament say? Take note of this book of Numbers, chapter 31. God tells Moses that the Israelites should attack the Midianites. Moses gathers up 12,000 men and they slaughter every single man in the country as well as the five kings. When this army returns, they do not kill the women. When they come back to Sayyidina Musa salam, according to their tradition, they do not kill the women and they do not kill the children. They come back to Musa salam, and look at what the Old Testament has to say. Book of Numbers chapter 31 verse 17. These are the exact words which are in the Old Testament. Moses said, kill every man among the little ones and kill every woman that hath known man by lying with him. Meaning any woman who is not a virgin, kill each and every one of them. Who said this? According to their tradition, Moses said this. Book of Numbers chapter 31 and verse 17. If anyone reads this and says that this is their religion, what would we say? A Muslim will say, go to their scholars and explain, ask them for the commentary. Next, remember the Christians say that the God mentioned in the Old Testament, but according to the Christian tradition, it is referring to Jesus, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. This is the book of Ezekiel. In that it is mentioned about Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam according to the tradition of the Christians. Then I heard the Lord say, who? Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Then I heard the Lord say, to the other men, follow him through the city and kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Show no mercy. How is Muhammad a mercy? Muhammad told people to kill people. Jesus Christ is here to save each and every one of us. These are the people that knock on our doors. That's what they say. And many of our Muslims, I know a person who is present in this gathering whose son has become a Christian. Hmm? That this is what they say, mercy, mercy, where is the mercy in Muhammad? We will tell you where the mercy is and how the Prophet is merciful. But remember brothers, our Iman is in danger. If not our Iman, then the Iman of our children. This is why it's important. Listen to this now. Then I heard the Lord say to the other men, follow him through in the city and kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Show no mercy. According to the Christians, Jesus is saying this. Show no mercy, have no pity, kill them all, old and young, girls and women, and the little children. This is the Bible. And if you read the Matthew Henry's biblical commentary on this, you'll be surprised. We are not calling you terrorists, and you have no right to call us terrorists. And the Quranic verse that you use, I have 10 Quranic verses in front of me that they misquote. And the, the natija, the result of each and every one will be the same. Each verse of the Quran which promotes mercy, they are using it to prove that Islam is promoting violence. And here I have with me hundreds of references from many other books. If it's a debate, they can never win this debate, brothers. They can never win this debate. Any Christian, any Jew, any person from followers of any religion, any atheist, they can never win in this debate. Our Prophet is a Prophet of mercy. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.